So, uh, what steps after the Virginia Tech uh, situation? Did we take any extra steps to, uh, you know, prep the students or communicate with the students? What have we done on that situation? Well, we actually have done analysis of what our current conditions are, what we currently have in plan for crisis management. Uh, we've actually taken some safety measures, and Kevin can talk about some of those that his office has done. But our group really has set up a great communication model, I think, that may have been lacking um, with the situation in Virginia Tech. Mm. You know, kind of um, jumping in on you, uh, the decision-making team it consists of myself, the dean, um, uh, uh, Gary Ham, Gary Ham, Gary Ham, um, Wanda, the, she's the insurance, you know, she's the insurance manager. specialist. We have the uh, health center, Dr. Olschlager, uh, Dr. Coombs, um, and uh, the health center represented there. Uh, the assistant dean of housing is there, and so when something, uh, an issue comes up or a student comes to our attention, we discuss this student and we, we formulate a plan for treatment or how to handle it. And that in itself uh, is really important. The problem you run, on, you run into is under FERPA, um, it's a federal regulation, uh, we do not get information from the schools that these students are coming from indicating that they may have a violent or psychotic behavior. And if we don't know it, I certainly don't think Virginia Tech could have known it. You know. Right, right, definitely. So now we're going to come to but, a topic. Oh, but once the students here, we have a, uh, I think, an excellent mechanism where we all meet on a regular basis. So there's no boundaries, there's no hit, hitting of data, not sharing of data. It's being shared, and we discuss those issues on a regular yeah. basis. Yeah. That's really cool. That I, I bet all the students feel much better now, especially the families and parents. So now we're going to come to a topic that's been on Florida Tech uh, News all week, uh, since two weeks now, and everyone who's watching this interview probably wants me to talk about it, is the big parking issue. That's why I'm looking at you, Kevin. <laughs> I did get a parking ticket. This is excellent coffee, Kevin. <laughs> mm. So, tell us a little bit. Uh, the parking issue was that everyone kind of, uh, with the new parking reforms that were changed, that all cars have to go in front first and cannot be backed in and all the sticker, parking stickers have to be at the back window. So, and a lot of students and a lot of people actually you know, raised uh, questions and objections to that. So what do you have to say to them? Well, first of all, it wasn't, you know, you define a lot of people. Uh, I think we, we did a count of the numbers. Less than 75 students were against this or brought it up. And of the 75 emails that came out, several were from the same students or students. So but but the, the backing in policy has always been there, hasn't well, it? Well, it used to be, and then we didn't enforce it. So the reason, okay, lo looking at Virginia Tech again, there are certain proactive measures we as a department, as a university, can take uh, in order to uh, ensure the safety of the students. So when you have a vehicle parked in nose first and the decal was visible from the rear, an officer on patrol was able to easily discern the fact that that student or that vehicle belongs here. A vehicle backed in would indicate several things. One, they don't have a current decal. Two, they're trying to hide an, an, a license plate or an expired license plate. Uh, those are just a couple of safety things we look at. Uh, so the other issue is we've got a lot of construction going on. And with that construction, we are temporarily going to lose several hundred parking spots. Okay, uh, 125 by Clemente and a few more uh, different places because of construction. We've lost about 75 where the uh, South Village is. So we're looking at at least 200. And so we need more disciplined parking. So if we have people who are backing into a spot, okay, they have to, to pull out and most of the time they have to go the wrong way. Um, but we need to have this consistency in parking we need a better way for the security people to see who's legitimate and who's not. And, uh, and, but I want to get away from spending all my time looking at parking and walking around cars. I want the officers to be able to do that real quick and then go out and do proactive patrol. That's our, our safety is our mission here. Okay, it's not parking, it's, it's the safety of the university community. I bet that puts to rest all the objections that might have come up due to this big issue that's been out. So now we're going to come back to the big fun round that we're all waiting for is the big rapid fire. 
with me. Uh, I'll just tell a little bit about the rapid fire round. It's basically, I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions, and you have to come up with the answer real quick. And it's a competition between you guys. Oh, okay. So, I actually, <laughs> oh, I actually will decide who the winner is, um, and we will basically um, determine. Coffee, by the way, Kevin, very good coffee. Oh, thank you so much. Did anyone ever tell you what a great host you are? I will definitely be nicer in the rapid fire round because <laughs> no, it's going to be more ruthless. We want you to be honest. We want you to be controversial. We want to make it fun, right? And the better p person who wins is going to get a special, special surprise coffee mug, right? Coffee with Kevin, coffee mug. So we're going to start with Rodney today since you're our first guest. Dean of students, are you ready? Ready. Safety belts on? Absolutely. Okay. Well, okay. Rodney Bowers, uh, Dean of Students or a student? Pick one. Which Rodney Bowers do you like more? Student. As a student. Um, what do you like more as majors? Engineering, sciences, or liberal arts? Sciences. Sciences. Pick the best uh, dining place you like out of these. Evans. You didn't even let me finish, but all right. <laughs> I'll take Evans. Actually, all the places <laughs> well, I would have done off-campus too, but all right. That's okay. fine. Evans. Cool. <laughs> Um, you like pizza or like something like a meatloaf or a home cooked meal? What would you prefer? Meatloaf. Meatloaf. Okay. Favorite restaurant in Melbourne? Continental Flambe. Okay. Cool. Uh, for security personnel, uh, golf carts, bikes, or maybe a Segway. You know. Walking. <laughs> Walking. Keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, friends on TV or Seinfeld? Friends. Friends. Okay. Uh, one current student name that pops up in your mind. Kevin Shaw. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> uh, 2008 elections. Who do you think will win? No one. You think no one is going to win? No, I, I actually think it's going to be uh, Clinton and Dole. Uh, okay, cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I think that'll be great. No, that'll, that'll be cool. Elizabeth what your Dole, opinion? Uh, you know, running for the Republicans and, and Hillary Clinton running for the Democrats. At, eventually. Guaranteed women. Okay. The cool. Um, and big city or small town suburban life? Small town. Small town. Okay. I grew up in one. Melbourne or Orlando? Melbourne, of course. Melbourne. Living on campus, off campus? On campus, of course. Orientation or graduation? Graduation. Big day. <laughs> okay, finally we're gone, right? This no, week. it's just uh, an achievement. It's achievement. an achievement, okay. Uh, but orientation is an achievement too, coming from high school into college. Oh, it's a transitional period. Okay. Uh, favorite movie? Ghost. Ghost. Okay. Um, going to the beach or going to the movies or something indoor? Going to a park or a national park. A national park. Okay. Yeah. Um, one word that comes to your mind when I say the following things, yeah, whatever first word that comes to your mind, all right? Student life, student activities. Fun. Fun. Alcohol. No. No. FITV. Wow. <laughs> oh, we love that answer. Theater. Joy. Joy. Hollywood. Lame. Fraternity sororities. Great fun. Iraq. Ah, uh, that's a tough one. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's get it done. Okay. Sports. Uh, volleyball. FIT. Florida Institute of Technology. A great place to be. Parties. Fun. And finally, coffee with Kevin. I think it's been a lot of fun, Kevin. Great. That was that was a really good rapid fire round for you, Rodney. A good job, definitely. And I was very. Thank you for taking my name. <laughs> You're welcome, Kevin. Uh,